G'day guys, welcome to Yenna Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I want to talk to you about what I'm looking forward to trying out in 2020. Sort of like the brands that sort of got on my radar this year. Um, not just the brands, but just like certain things in general, like certain products and certain brands, not necessarily everything in that brand, but just things that caught my attention in 2019 that I wanted to try and I never got around to, or just things that have just sparked a little bit of interest. So, so some of the things that caught my attention in 2019 was false lashes. And I mean, it's not like I haven't seen them before, I have, but I've just not really been that interested in trying them out for myself. I I had some that I got, I got given to me a while ago, and they were just way too big, and I tried them on, and I just, I didn't know anything about trimming them up, I didn't know what half-decent glue was, I didn't know that there were specific um, shapes of lashes for different eye shapes, so I really didn't know what I was getting myself into, and I didn't have a good time with it. But I've been doing a little bit more research and it's something that I actually want to dive into and just see if I can have a bit of a play because I love everything to do with the eyes. I love to accentuate the eyes because when I'm talking to people, the eyes is what I'm looking at most of the time and I feel the exact same way that, you know, when someone's really paying attention to you, they're looking at your eyes. So for me, when I'm wearing makeup or anything like that, it's the eyes that I really want to be the um, focal point. So yeah, I'm actually thinking about getting into lashes this year. But also, talking about eyes, I really want to get a hold of some really good eye brushes. So um, I don't have a lot of different um, brushes at the moment. I've, I've got a select few, mostly eco tools and um, real techniques and the likes of that, or cheap nasty brands. And I really need some smaller definition brushes. So I am thinking about looking into better quality brushes, whether that's Wayne Goss or whether that's like Refa or I think it's called Refa or just something like that, something just a little bit better and some more detailed brushes. And moving on now, there are some things from some brands that I'm only just interested in Pacific items. For example, I don't know much about cover cover FX, but they brought out a duo blush, which I'll stick up right here, that I just still, I'm, I'm looking at it, I'm like, I've got to get one. I just have to have one. I don't care what shade. Well, I kind of do. You know, I, I do prefer sort of like a pinky tone, but I have a lot of pink blushes in my collection at the moment, and I am looking towards going something like more peachy, um, peachy apricotty. I don't know. I don't know. But I am thinking about getting some of those. But I don't know anything else about the brand. I Nothing has sort of jumped out at me where it's sort of stayed in my mind. So I do want to try that blush. I really do hope to get a hold of it. Um, but some other things like uh, Natasha Denona, um, for example, I want their... Um, the Norvina palette, not the big volumes, it's like a set of three, but just the, the little one. Um, I love purple absolutely love 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 it and i do want to try and attach it to known as formula so this is probably the one that i would pick up for myself to try and um yeah that that's something that i really want to double with this year i really want to play more around with the eyes um i have been i mean i've got color on my eyes today and it's not something normal for me i um i slapped this on because i thought i didn't want to scare you guys but uh, by going all natural and like ah so um I had a bit of a play and at the moment I'm playing with the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette, which I'm, I love it, okay. In comparison to all the other formulas of eyeshadows that I've currently used, which is mostly drugstore, it's phenomenal. So I'm loving, I'm having fun and um, and this is the look that I've done. I didn't record it for you guys because I was just sort of playing around, but if you do want to see it, let me know. I'll make a separate video. Lush is another brand that I sort of want to look at. I love baths and I love showers and I love body products that sort of that are really really fruity and I don't know they've, they've got these bath bombs that every time I, I see them I post it everywhere everybody's talking about Lush 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 and um, I would really like to get a hold of some of their bath bombs but I'm really curious about their tub products as well so um, yeah I mean they've got like um, shower jellies, I think they call it, where it's like this kind of solid soap, not really, it kind of looks like something out of a horror movie, like the blob or something that you sort of just like rub all over your body, I don't know. It looks kind of cool and I'd like to get a hold of one and just check it out um, and some other bath products and stuff like that. So I do want to see if I can get a hold of some Lush products this year. It means that I have to go to Melbourne, which is about two and a half hours away from here, so I'm not sure. We'll see. But um, yeah, they're the things that uh, from brands that I want to try some things, but 
I don't really know much about the brand, so I've got to do a little bit more research about it. Now let's move on to brands that I definitely want to know a lot more about this year. So, so there's two brands that I'm interested in trying their liquid lipstick formula, and that is Too Faced Liquid Lips and Dose of Colours. So I've been eyeing off the Too Faced Liquid Lips for about a year and a half now, and I just haven't pulled the trigger because I think it works out to be like $30 for one liquid lip, I believe, don't quote me. Um, and I don't really think, I don't think that's counting postage either because I don't have a Too Faced locally that I can go and pick these up. But there are a couple of shades that I'm looking at. Bend and Snap is one of them. I think that's like the bright sort of berry colour. I just, mmm, I'm not 100% sure whether it would suit me. But I really do want to try the Too Faced liquid lip formula. But also I want to try Dose of Colours. I've seen a lot of their liquid lipsticks lately. And every time they post something on Instagram that has something to do with liquid lips, I just find myself immediately liking the post because I like what I see. So that's another reason why I sort of want to try it. I, um, I don't wear lipstick often because I'm a klutz and I have a tendency to touch my face a lot. And I just, I tried a liquid lipstick from Colourpop a while ago. Um, it was their ultra glossy lip or something it was fucking gorgeous it was in the shade called wolfie and i might have a picture maybe i can post up here but i absolutely loved it but sadly i ended up passing it along to somebody else because it's it's a very wet formula and although it's deliciously good on the lips it um i one streak of hair and it went whoosh, and uh, I tried again. I thought, no, I'll put my hair up this time. I'm not going anywhere. And I just found it just everywhere. Um, yeah, so I I want a liquid lip that will set down like a mat but feel comfortable. So I'm, I'm looking for the perfect liquid lip this year. Um, well, in 2020. But I'm one day away from I'm filming on Christmas. Uh, not Christmas. I'm filming on New Year's Eve at the moment. So I'm probably going to get this up on New Year's Day. So, um hence why I'm saying this year. Um, but yeah, they're the two liquid lipstick formulas that I want to try. Um, I'm sure there's going to be more, but that's what I want to try at the moment. Hourglass is another brand that I'm interested in looking into. Um, I've seen a couple of girls, uh, I've seen a couple of ladies, sorry, that um, are really, really into Hourglass lipsticks, um, these ones in particular. And um, I'm intrigued, so I really do want to try that out. But I'm also intrigued by their face palette, not necessarily by the ghost one that came out in 2019, but like the ones that came out in, I think it was 2018. I think it looks great, and I would really be interested in trying something like that. Um, but that's about it that I really want to try from Hourglass at the moment, their lipsticks and their face palettes. So I'm hoping that they bring out something that excites me a little bit more in 2020, but we'll see. Physicians Formula is also another brand that I wanted to try a little bit more. I have tried their, um, what is it, their bronzer, and I absolutely love that. I mean, I hate the smell of the bronzer, but after I left it open for about two days, um, pretty much most of the smell's gone, and I'm able to use it comfortably. I love the formula, I love the way that it looks on the face, um, but I do really want to try their um, Healthy Foundation. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about that because I am struggling really hard with my base. This year is definitely going to be a year for me trying to find the perfect foundation for my skin because I'm finding that a lot of foundations actually make me look older than I am and I don't like that. I mean, who does? Unless you're 16 and you want to get into a club, obviously, but <laughs> no, no. I'm 34 and I don't want to look older than I am. Um, but I also don't want to look like a teeny popper either, so yeah, I just want to look my age, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, but I actually, that's another one. I want to try their liquid lip formula as well. I forgot about that. There is a particular shade called Vitamin Beet that I want to try, and it's kind of really the only one that jumps out or screams at me. I'm sure there's a lot of other beautiful colors that I would enjoy. <clears throat> excuse me, but vitamin beet is that, that sort of rich berry that always makes me excited and it doesn't necessarily mean that it suits me because it doesn't but I can't, I just have to have anything that's sort of like that, I don't know, rich berry like raspberries and I don't know, mulberries and just, I don't know, I just, I love it so I do want to try that as well. Another brand that caught my eye this year is Luna Beauty. Um, I wasn't really interested in their, what was it, their strawberry palette, I think his strawberry palette that he brought out. I eh, I love the packaging with that one. I think the packaging was 
a-okay but uh, I didn't get excited about the shades inside it and the same thing with the moon spell palette I freaking love the look of this palette right like it just speaks it speaks to me um, it, it reminds me of my childhood I want it I want it only mainly because of the packaging and maybe like the purple that's in there but yeah that's about as far as it goes like I open it up and I'm like eh. so I don't know he needs to bring out some more things, he really does. Um, I also have heard that their highlighter formula is the bomb, so I am keeping an eye on Luna Beauty this year, and maybe I might dabble in that, so we'll see. These next four brands I'm, I'm interested in, but I'm not sure about, except one of them. One of them, which is uh, Lethal Cosmetics. I am, that wasn't a fart, that was my chair. Lethal Cosmetics. <laughs> I can't stop swiveling and it creaks. Lethal Cosmetics has been speaking to me this year. Um, everything that they bring out, I'm like, ooh, mm, mm, mm. and a lot of people are talking about it. I'm seeing a lot more reviews. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I want all of the shades that they have. So I definitely want to get a hold of some Lethal Cosmetics eyeshadows um, in 2020 and maybe some of their liquid lips too because I do believe they have liquid lips. Um, but yeah, they're definitely on my radar. I'm going to have to get some of them. But these other three brands I'm looking at, they've caught my eye, but I'm not 100% yet. Like they, I'm excited by what I'm hearing, but I'm not 100% sure. Those brands are uh, Blush Tribe, Juvia's Place, and Menagerie Cosmetics. Now, all for different reasons. Menagerie really caught my eye with their, is it Violet Ink palette? Like the whole purple palette, like, mmm. The packaging is gorgeous, and I mean, every shadow inside of it is purple. <laughs> I want it. I really, really want it. I don't think I need it, because of the shadows that I picked up in 2019, I have a lot of purples now. Like, not, not, not a ton. Not like your beauty gurus or anything like that, but I've got a good... I've got a good 10 different purples, maybe, maybe eight different purples. Um, and I don't want to have so many that I just forget to use them or just use one more than the other. Um, I am looking for the perfect eyeshadow formula, obviously, and that's another reason why these guys are on my radar because I'm hearing that these brands' formulas are absolutely fantastic. But other than the, um, the Violet Ink palette, which I love as a... You know, it's not a standalone palette, though. Obviously, I'd have to pair it with something, and that's the only reason why I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. But these other palettes from these brands are nice. Like, the packaging is the bomb with every single one of them. But the shadow, the plan inside the... I don't know. It just... It hasn't gotten me to the point where I'm like, I've got to have that. And I'm, I think I'm really fussy. I really, really do. Um, I have to really love something to spend the money on it and um, yeah they're on my radar but I'm not sure they're gonna have to pull something out of the bag for me to just really jump all in with those guys. Pixie Beauty is another one that's on my radar specifically because of their glow tonic. Um, I'm really interested this year I'm focusing a lot on skincare. Skincare means a lot to me because I do suffer from skin conditions like eczema, dehydration, fine lines um, <laughs> and just a little bit of skin pigmentation here and there and um, so I am looking at really working on my A-game with my um, my skincare routine this year and one of the things that jumped out at me was the Glow Tonic because it is, uh, well it's a skin, a skin exfoliator but without being too, I guess, physically abrasive, it's a chemical um, exfoliator if I've got that correct and um, I have tried heaps of other different types of exfoliators like you know your um, facial scrubs and stuff like that but every time I use a facial scrub I think my skin just doesn't like it so I really am interested in trying this but they are bringing out some other things that are piquing my interest so I definitely want to get a hold of the glow tonic but I want to try some other things as well there's another one too I can't remember what it's called but I think it's a milk so milk tonic or, mm, or a vitamin C. I don't know, maybe it's both, but I do want to try a little bit from this brand and um, I'm, I'm excited about that. And definitely, uh, like I said, I, I, want, I need to find some more products that I can put moisture back into my skin and, um, and help correct some of those areas so, that I'm struggling with. 
Now this next one's a little bit controversial for some of you guys and I do apologize but I'm not talking about the person here. I want to talk to you guys just about the products. I want to try a little bit more of Jeffree Star Cosmetics because I do have, I did pick up um, in 2019 the Jailbreaker palette which is what I have on my eyes today as I already said but I've also tried these liquid lip formula as well and everything that I've tried from Jeffree Star Cosmetics so far I'm loving so I definitely want to try a lot more. I want to see if I can get a hold of the Alien palette possibly the blood sugar palette. He's bringing out a new palette in um, early 2020, which I'm excited about. He hasn't said enough about, but I'm interested in knowing more about that. And I'm actually a little bit bummed out because I saw the peppermint um, highlighting palette go out in one of his boxes recently. And um, obviously we can't get a hold of that because it was an exclusive. And I actually, I liked the look of it. Um, I want to try his, some of, not all of them, but I want to try some of his highlighter formulas. I think it's called Skin Frost or Ice something. I'll leave it up here. This is what I want to try, but also some of those new highlighters he's brought out I'm interested in as well. I'm not a big fan of glitter, so I don't want anything really chunky chunky, but there is this one particular, um highlighter that Porcelain keeps talking about that she uses on her inner corner. That's the one that I want to get a hold of. That's the one I'm interested in trying. Um, so yeah, I want to dabble a little bit more with Jeffree Star Cosmetics this year and I'm really sorry if that offends anybody, but I'm interested. I mean, unless something really, really bad happens and I can no longer support him. <sighs> yeah. It's going to take a lot though. I, I, I try not to connect the people with the brand. It's really, really difficult, but it is what it is. I want to try some more. I'm excited to try some more this year. Another two brands that are on my radar this year, and I'll start with the first one. They were on my radar. They fell off my radar. They jumped back on, um, which is Melt Cosmetics. They first got on my radar with the, I think it was the, the Smoke Sessions palette. I'll put it on the screen anyway. I saw this and I looked at it and I'm like, that's that's interesting. And then I saw Kat from Beauty News use it a lot and I saw a lot of other people doing different uh, looks with it and I'm like, ooh, ooh, I really, really wanted that. And I started getting really, really excited, right? <sighs> I was about to buy it. And then the shit happened where people's shadows were not exploding, but like, opening up and spreading and doing really really weird things and um, so that 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 was a thing that happened and um, it kind of turned me off a little bit like I really wanted it I, I wanted it um, but that kind of made me a little bit funny and um, so I thought I'd stay away from that <sighs> but then they brought out this other one mm. I can't remember what it was called, but like it was a fold out one and it had shadows on this side and shadows on this side and it had pretty much all of the shadows that it had in the smoke sessions. Give or take a few, but it, it had a lot of shadows in it. And the only thing I didn't like about it was the fact that it was a sort of like a close over book and it folded on itself and there was no protective sheet in between them. But I liked all the shadows that I saw and I was looking for sort of like a rainbow palette at that stage and um, yeah, I hadn't seen anything else that I really, really liked. So it sort of like jumped back on my radar then. But yeah, I I really, really am interested to see what else they bring out because they're bringing out some stuff that's really sparking my interest. And Kaleidos, I think it's called. There's two different brands. There's Kaleido and Kaleidos, but I'm pretty sure it's Kaleidos. You'll know what I'm talking about because I'm going to put up these palettes here that are piquing my interest, but also highlighters as well. So um, Teresa is Dead mentioned um, these highlighters, and I've had a look at them myself, and I'm, I'm understanding what she's saying, right? And um, so, yeah, I am interested in their eyeshadow formula as well, but I don't know yet. There are some, the packaging is gorgeous. All the packaging for all of their palettes, I think, is phenomenal, spot on. Um, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the packaging for the highlighters. Shoot me. I know some people are. But when I look at the packaging for the highlighters opposed to the packaging for the um, eyeshadow palettes, I'm thinking, eh, it looks like two different brands to me. But whatever. I digress. I do want to try some stuff from them. I'm not sure what yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to because I've got a certain order of palettes that I want to try or brands that I want to try before I get to Kaleidos. Um, but if something comes on special, you know, and I've got the money, eh? <laughs> 
So um, I'm sure there's a lot of other things that I've failed to mention that piqued my interest this year, but I don't want this video to be like forever long. I am really interested in knowing what you guys are interested in this year, if it's similar to some of the things that I've been talking about, or if it's not. Um, yeah, just shoot me a line below. Let's have a chat about what's going on for 2020 and what do you think is going to be the new trend for 2020? I'm, I'm really excited. I, I see colours, colours everywhere. I'm. But I think that's just personally for me because I'm discovering colour again and um, I'm having fun with it. So I'd love to see a lot more colourful palettes next year. Not necessarily rainbow palettes, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like what you saw today, go ahead, feel free, give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like the video and I need to create more of this type of content. But if you didn't like the video, feel free, give me a thumbs down. But once again, like I always say, don't forget to leave me a message down below, politely, telling me why you didn't like the video so I can help figure out what kind of videos you guys want to see because I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste your time. I love creating content, but I want it to be sort of cohesive. You know, you enjoy it, I enjoy it, and uh, yeah. <sighs> Let's hope that the start of your uh, New Year's is as awesome as mine is going to be, and um, I'll see you in the next year. Bye.